Alright, greetings my fellow Narcadians, this is I, Talisar Gelden, Master of the Narcadian Order. And we are back with Mass Effect Legendary Edition for Talisar Plays. I know it's been uh, a little bit since I posted a video, but I've uh, been a little bit busy. So, shit happens. Uh, uh, no uh, webcam this time. I didn't feel like setting it up. Double check on my everything is working as intended. Yes, good. Observe Nebula. Okay. Right, where? Are... That's right. I have to go see. Get um. I met Garrus, rescued the nurse, and now I'm heading to see uh, Rex. Uh, ward locations. Hmm. Where the f- uh, Actually, I don't rem- Is it Kor's Den I have to go? Back. I see. I forget where I need to go. Journal. Okay, I have to go to Seasick Academy. Okay. And Seasick Academy, I get, I think, was on the Presidium. What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get mm. coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Really? Pardon me, one second. My controller cable is caught on something, so. Oh, why, why not? <laughs> We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far, I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically, we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. <laughs> I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a Keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. Yeah, that sounds like a worthwhile endeavor. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Not too many people have free access to the tower. Even less get permission to meet the council. Maybe. But I wouldn't believe everything you hear. Actually, no way, Miss. No. The academy was at the embassies. That's right. Shit. Okay.
Do you feel that your training in the human military prepared you well for your duties, Gunnery Chief? Uh, trying to take down a rogue Spectre and his army of synthetics? No, they didn't cover this in basic. Ooh. That was weird. Look at that bug thing over there. Please do not disturb the keepers. Citadel Rapid Transit. <clears throat> Boom, yeah, Presidium Embassies. Okay, now where is... Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Okay, maybe I'm in the wrong place. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Ugh, come on. I'm... This is c headquarters. I need the Academy, and the Academy is where... Maybe it is in the words. Wait a minute. Seasick Academy? This is literally the Ah, okay. Seasick Academy is this way. Now we're on the right track. There we go. Come on, get on, get in here. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Uh, okay. Here we go. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. I think we're going to get along just fine, Rex. <laughs> Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. I, I, it's time to give Fist a good fisting. Well, 
let's see here. Elevator is over here. Oh, the rapid transit. That's what I need. Here. Am I going the right way? Or markets? Gore's Den. I'm guessing that's where I need to go. Gore's Den. Okay. Okay, yeah. Bullshit! You're taking a shotgun! Alright, fine. Ow. There we go, that's what I needed. Yeah, good. Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even Man, that hair... Identity. That hairline. Oh, Holy shit. That. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards. The back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. That Quarian's dead if we don't go now. Alright. More of the... Alright. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's 
let's take it. All right, let's go. Okay, not not that way. Oops. Okay. There we go. There we go. I mean, it's great that you guys all want to die, but uh, maybe you should reconsider your life choices that led you to this point, you know? Is that whatever? Okay, not going that way. trust him were you hurt in the fight I know how to look after myself not that I don't appreciate the help who are you my name's Shepard I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life but not here we need to go somewhere safe we could take her to the human embassy your ambassador will want to see this anyway <laughs> You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? You wanted proof Saren's a traitor. This is it. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage, my rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Hmm. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. 
I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted yeah. world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. Yeah, yeah they are. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. <laughs> well, maybe. And I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. All right. Let's see here. Uh... You know, I've been. There's something that I've been contemplating. I might actually do it, and that's remake Shepard. And do another playthrough up to the up to wherever I quit tonight, and then picking up from there with a new face. Because as far as I'm aware, I can't in the middle of the game give him a facelift. I kind of wish I could. I'm not really happy with it with the face I gave him. Um, now I think Tally's accent became thicker over the course of the games. It doesn't sound as thick now as it does in the other two games. It might just be my imagination. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you speak? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. I can put in a word with the embassy and speed things along. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Okay. Financial District, Citadel, Tower, hmm. The only expensive bar I'm aware of. Oh, I can't remember the name, but... I 
had my office rearranged five times now. Five times. Welcome, I am Nalina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Oh, yeah. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in... Um, three or four months. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the now, future. Now, similar to what I said earlier about new Torian's facial markings, Melina. I'm kind of curious about yes, Shaira? on the Asari. Send the up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Oh, yeah. Yes, of course, mistress. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. What does she want to see me for? I don't know. You'll have to ask her yourself. Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Uh, those body textures are a little bit rough. I'm not going to lie. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Oh, yeah? Tell me about this problem you're having. I have a friend, Septimus. A retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Hmm. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Alright. Hmm. Side quest, ho. Oh. That's actually, uh... uh. I, that that was a an unintentional pun. Admit I'm a little nervous. I went fairly often when it was still the Arcos. Yeah, ever since this year, I don't know. Seems like all the best vouchers have been replaced by the basement. Human, this one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. All right, let's see what we got. Your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. A lot of stuff I can't afford. Hmm. Citadel Tower, the wards. Hmm.
Actually, no, I had to talk. I think I need to talk to this guy about something. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. The tale of how you survived the great tragedy on Akuz is truly remarkable. I am amazed each time I hear it. I don't like strangers keeping tabs on me. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. And you're right. But Rex has already told you far more than I know about this. I am sorry, but I have nothing else to offer. Ah, uh, okay. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. obviously understood the aesthetic value of the mass relays. Something we Quarians have learned to appreciate during our wanderings. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a pretty, uh... accurate representation of a mass relay, yet, yeah, doesn't it? You almost think it could actually... be usable. Hmm? There's no way the council can ignore us this time. Saren's days as a specter are done. If the evidence is worth trying to kill me for, I hope it is sufficient to motivate the council. Uh, is that one asleep? I mean, I want to say they're kind of, they're erected, but they're not. They have six limbs. A hexapod would probably be more accurate. Come on, Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. 
Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. <clears throat> Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bulk. Ambassador, <laughs> there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. What's my first mission? We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. All right. I thought the ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. <laughs> what do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Uh, all right. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Well, I think I'm going to end it there and probably contemplate um, creating a new character. I'm looking online right now to see if there might be a character editor or some way I can modify the character using uh, console commands of any exist. I'm not hopeful. From what I've skimmed so far, it doesn't look like it. But we'll see. Well, this has been Talsar Plays. Good night.